All right, fellas, today we are going to be using this picture of a shoe rack that I built, and we're going to be building this shoe rack on SketchUp. So go ahead and open up SketchUp, uh, go to Personal Projects, Start Now, whatever it says. Um, under here, Create New, we're going to click the arrow. Go ahead and click Fractional Inches and open up a new, Google, a new uh, SketchUp doc. Once we're here, we're going to, let's go ahead and just delete the man to get started. Then we're going to want to give this a title. Uh, go up here, click the untitled. Click SketchUp right here. And then we're going to want to give it a name. I already have Shoe Rack and Shoe Rack 2, so let's just call it, I'm just going to say SR underscore 1. I'm going to save it as this name. Okay, now that I have that, I'm ready to get started. My shoe rack, it starts out by using the rectangle tool. I'm going to click the origin and start dragging this way. When I start dragging this way, I establish the direction that I want my, my rectangle to be made. I need it to be 12, 48, and I'm going to press Enter. And I have my rectangle. I can press Control, Shift, E. And it'll take me right to my rectangle. Once I have my rectangle, I'm going to want to grab the push-pull tool. I use this to drag up. I can click, hold, and drag, or I can just click and then let go of the click and drag. But I'm going to want to come back, and you'll see down here, down here in the corner, it's telling me the distance that I've gone. So I've gone 9 and 5 16 inches up from the ground. Let's go ahead and do Control-Z, bring it back, and click Start Dragging. I'm just going to press 0.75 and then press Enter and see it change to three quarters. That's how thick this cube is. This, uh, yeah, this is the top of our, our um, shoe rack. So with my selection tool, I'm going to triple select. Triple select selects everything. Um, if I just double click, I only select the top surface. Triple select makes it be the whole thing. And what I'm going to want to do is to go right click and make component. This makes it so that my cube will move all together, all at once together. Uh, check out what happens if it's not a component. This, I did control Z a few steps. And this is what happens when I don't have a component. I try to click and it's clicking the individual points. So let's go back. Selection tool, triple click. Right click, make component. You can just name it component number one is fine. All right, I press OK, and now I'm ready to move. I need to move this to the top because this is the top of the uh, of the shoe rack actually. So I'm going to click the origin again. I'm going to start dragging up, and I'm going to go ahead and I click 20 and press Enter. That's the height of our shoe rack. Right there, 20 inches high. All right, my next step is pretty much the same as my first step. I'm going to click with the uh, rectangle tool, start drawing a rectangle this way, and draw 12, type 12, 48. And, oh, I did 487. That is not what I want. Click, drag, 12, 48, and press Enter. Get this box. See, I have the top. Now I'm doing the bottom. Let's go back to the bottom. I'm going to click, drag, and do 0.75 once again. Alrighty. Um, this one, I'm good. I don't need to make this one a component. And let's actually, it looks like this is, the top is closer to the bottom. Let's go ahead and move this down a few inches. So when I click, I can start dragging. Notice how down here in the bottom corner, it's telling me how far I've moved. I have moved 2 and 9 sixteenths inches there. Let's do 4 inches. See how that looks a little better? Um, I think that's good. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, over here, now I'm going to want to get uh, the square tool again. I'm going to click right here, 
start dragging, I would need it to be blue. That, uh, if it's green, I'm drawing on the wrong axis. So I want it to be blue, and I'm going to type um, 12, comma, 0.75. Press enter, and I get a, a box like this. Once I have this box, I can use the push-pull tool, and I'm going to bring this side all the way up. Now we have our left side. Oh, wait, that's not what the left side looks like. Let's go back. We need to go back a few steps. This box should be over here on this side. So let's change that. Click, drag, 12, comma, 0.75. Enter. Good, good, good. Fix those mistakes. Bring that up to just to this edge is fine right here. Alrighty. That's what we should have right now. Let's go back and look. Yep, I have that side. Uh, so next I'm going to draw this, um, this support and this support right here. And then I'm going to come back and draw this, the middle level, in just a second. Um, so this middle support is 16 inches away from the right side. So I'm going to want to use the measuring tool. I can use the measuring tool right here. And I can click drag start dragging and type in 16 and press enter and that goes comes up with a mark actually that my measurements must be off let's do 12 let's do that one instead and let's go ahead and delete this mark right here if i select that little notch you know what i'm not even going to worry about it for right now okay but i have this measure this line right here this is telling me it's 12 inches from this right edge to right here. With my rectangle tool, I'm going to click on that on that reference line and draw another box. 12 comma 0.75. Press enter. Oh, I don't want it that way, so try again. And this time let's do 0.75 comma 12. And that'll give me my box just fine. Perfect. Now that I have that box, once again, push-pull tool. It's kind of a lot of the same steps over and over. I'm going to grab the push-pull tool, and we're just going to bring it up. I'm not even going to worry about where it is right now. I'm just going to bring it up in the air. Now that I have this support, I'm going to draw the support coming that comes from the top right here. This one right here. So let's go back with my square tool. I'm going to click on this edge, start drawing this way, and I'm going to do 12 comma 0.75 and press enter. I got another box with the push pull tool once again. I'm bringing it down. And this time I'm going to bring it down. Let's see, we are, how high up are we again? We went from here to here, which is 16. So I want this to be half, so let's do half, let's do 8. If I click and drag, I can go to 8, and that looks pretty good to me. Let's actually go back up 0.75, so if I start dragging this way, but then I just type 0.75, I press enter, that accounts for the thickness of the board that's going to go right here. All right. On this left side, I'm going to click this corner right here. I'm going to start drawing a square. This square needs to be blue. It needs to be blue. If it's uh, not blue, it's not right. It's drawing the wrong way. But blue is drawing the right way. I'm starting to draw this way. That's what I want. I'm at what it needs to be. Let's start out with... Let's do... Let's think about this. We want it to be, let's do 20 comma 12 to start out. So let's start out with that. Now, same thing we've done before. Push pull tool. Let's bring this up 0.75 and press enter. All right. Now that I have half of this shelf, 
I'm going to grab this edge with the push pull tool and just bring it out to meet this guy right here. Hello. What's up? And then I'm going to shrink this one down to that level. I'm going to shrink it right down. Let's shrink it to the top so that we don't get that weird, weird thing. And we should be able to do that. Push pull tool. Boom. Boom. Okay, cool. All right, I'm almost finished. I have the basic shape. I need these two supports, which are two cubes. We're going to see how that goes. Right now, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to come over to this side. And I'm going to remember that this is 12 inches side to side. Um, another cool thing, if I grab the orbit tool and I hold shift, it becomes the pan tool, which means I can just drag my camera up and down. Let's go back to the selection tool and let's delete this reference line. And we're going to get ready to draw some two by two cubes. And what I'll need for that is my uh, measuring tape. I'm going to measure out this way. I'm going to go, we're going to go two inches right here. Make a mark. And we're going to go from there, we're going to go over to four. From, the, from this corner, we go over four as well. So I have a two and a four. From here, I draw up. And I'm going to draw up five. And then I'm going to go at the same, on the same line and go again and do seven. I just typed in both of those numbers and that's what it gave me. Once again, same thing right here. I'm going to go this way and the line should be red. That means it's parallel to the red axis right here. And it's drawing a straight line. I'm going to draw it five and press enter. I'm going to go again and press seven. Oh, that, if I'd press seven now, it wouldn't draw a straight line for me because it wasn't red. Keep it red and make sure I'm going from the same place at this point. Draw seven and press enter. All right. Okay. Now with my square tool, I'm going to start drawing this way. I'm going to go two comma two, press enter. And do another one right here. Go two comma two and press enter. What do you think we'll do with these guys? I think you already know. We're going to bring them up to this level. Let's just bring them up to meet that. So that I don't have it. I could poke out like that, but let's just have it meet on this side. It should just meet. Boom. And... Boom. Okay. Nice. Easy. And it might not be exact to this uh, shoe rack, but the model is basically there. It looks like these shoe racks might go over just a little bit. I can do that. I can triple click. I'd have to make this a group, actually. And I'd be able to move this over. But if you go ahead and turn this in, I will go ahead and give you 100% for something like this. Alright, thanks, thanks for watching guys.